Eve, Rainy, how's it going? Oh wait, that's you, Eve. <laughs> welcome, how's it going? Super Mario, welcome, how's it going? Okay, it is time for the grand finale. Super Mario Rock, how's it going? Tired and bored, welcome. Your Switch still won't turn on. I think you should probably try getting a new Switch. Yes, let's get through this. Planning on doing it at this point. If you're gonna if, uh, actually, um, if you are in fact just gonna get a new switch, you might as well go for the OLED. It is a slightly more powerful switch. It does have more memory storage and stuff, so you might as well go for that one if you're gonna get a new one. Wait, is this face here anywhere? CDDJ, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, exactly. Get, just If you're going to get a new Switch, just go for the OLED. Okay, now we'll accept your friend request. And your team light, gotcha. Um, I'm not seeing your name anywhere. Your name is SMR100. Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay. But still, be sure to put an L in your switch username. And here we go. Here we go, here we go. You just delete us. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is always such a pain. It would be nice if Nintendo would increase the friends limit to 300 on the OLED as well, but no, it's still the usual 3. And the fact that it has more memory storage just is all the more reason to. Friend deleted. Yes, I know, comma error, yahoo. Okay, let me accept that request and then we'll get started. Any day now, thank you. Jeez, took long enough. Okay. With the slide delays because of the new kit. I think having new kits is kind of nice because it adds variety. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's how my room is going to work this time around. I'm going to keep the same room open, so that means anyone who is currently in it after two matches has to leave, so no pe uh, new people can join. It it's actually just fa it's faster than you know creating a new room, needing to exit out and everything. Cozy, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. Nejapon, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. I believe we are waiting for 
Yeah, we're currently just waiting for our subspace to finish up. Done with the laundry? Nice. So Sesame should be here any moment now. So yes, this will be the last day for this huge event. Hope y'all are excited for it. Feel sleepy? You should rest. Okay, we need at least two more players before we can even start. Because 2v2s don't count, unfortunately. <laughs> Three players have six in <laughs> Yeah. It's nothing but ninth and sixes. What the frick? Let Mario 1v3 that. <laughs> I could, but it wouldn't count. Jim, how's it going? Welcome. Okay, we need one more dark player. Uno mas, por favor. Another six, yeah, but this time there's a seven. Plushies, how's it going? Welcome. We're all high level so far. Shaw. Sure. Let me need one more dark player so we can get started. Because 1v1s and 2v2s don't count. Only 3v3s and the good old 4v4s. I really hope there's 5v5s in Splitting 3. That would be nice. That really would. No spectating. And if you can do what you did with... If, if Nintendo can do what they did with Tricolor, there's no reason they can't add 5v5s. It's just one ex two extra players. And they clearly made new, you know, starting spots for the teams. So no excuses, Nintendo. No excuses. Five v five would be chaotic, but fun. That's the whole idea. All right, so we need one more dark. Uno más. Uno más, por favor. Sam, how's it going? Welcome. If it's Tricolor, then it's, then it's Splatoon Battle Royale. Actually, that was interesting, because what they uh, did for Tricolor could be its own brand new ranked mode. Bella, how's it going? Welcome. And they could just treated, have treated Tricolor Turf War like an actual Turf War instead of an objective-based game mode. <laughs> Defeats the purpose entirely, doesn't it? Here comes some space. Here we go. Let's go. Bella, Snake... A uh, Photon, McCurvy, Zood Biscuit, Octo Gaming, how's it going? Calamity, welcome, how's it going? Fate, welcome everyone, welcome one and all to the grand finale of this huge event. Oh, we have one more, we have another light, but we need another dark. The Arcasen. I think that's how you say your name. Welcome. Squid, how's it going? Where's Subspace himself at? Oh, don't you fall asleep on me now, Switch. Xander, how's it going? Welcome. Gotta go, sorry. It's cool. Thanks for uh, dropping by with the raid, though. 
<laughs> Have a good one. Cap, how's it going? Welcome. Aquatic S'mores. And there is Subspace himself. Welcome. Saturn Rose, how's it going? Y'all ready to start this grand finale on my end? Let's do it. Okay, I'm not sure what team Sam is on. Francis is full. <laughs> it's always full. It really is. It doesn't matter how many people I delete. It's 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 gonna fill up regardless. And uh, uh, one second, let me actually get a vote forum for forum who those of you who are new. No 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 no. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so what you can do with this here is vote for what team you would like to be on, and then in your Switch username, please put either an L for Team Light or a D for Team Dark. Gotta go, Fate? It's cool. Thanks for dropping by, though. Maybe I'll come back later? Hope so. The more the merrier. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and get a started. Okay, so light, 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 dark, dark. Light, I have no idea what team you're on. I'm just gonna put plushies on dark crud. Um, okay, uh, I'm just going down the list for those who are, you know, remember it's only shifty stations. I forgot to select that, but who knows, with any luck, we might just get one. <laughs> Shall we see? And it is a shifty station, Make Princess Diaries. I'll make sure you're playing on your actual team next time, Aquatic. <laughs> but hey. It is a shifty station. What do you know? And yes, please remember to wear the Splatfest T replicas. We'll let, it, uh, we'll let it slide the first time, but every other time, the matches will not count if it's not worn, so please remember to wear them. And this map on sub. <laughs> Funny thing is, this is the map we started on on my stream yesterday, so... Yay! What's the score? Um, I'm not sure what the total overall score is, but I will be telling you what the score is at the end of my stream. It's gone full circle. What comes around goes around. What goes up must come down. Unless you're in space. But then again, there is no real actual direction of travel in space. I must blow up the bomb. Okay. Back on target. Let's go. I swear, when these when these shots uh, connect, it's a rapid time to splat. That's only if the shots actually, you know, hit back to back. And I'm looking out for DCs. I have not seen any so far. Okay, so far so good. That means if a DC does happen, it will count because it's been past 45 seconds. Waste of a splashdown. Why did you want for me? Because you wanted room. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I mean, uh, and Jack, uh, Jackogen, like, you know, pointed out a really, you know, it's a really good point. While it 300 is definitely better than the 100 sprint limit that the Wii U had, the Switch is a much more popular console and sold much more copies. So, obviously, you're gonna need a bigger friends limit, but apparently 300 still isn't enough. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, while it is still better, it is a much more popular console, so obviously there's gonna be, you know, more friends to be had. I feel like this is one-sided. Did we just have him pinned down or something? I'll have to check out the actual turfing scores after this match. Wow, what a way to start off with <laughs> my friends' diaries yet again. The same way we did yesterday. Okay, let me check that out real quickly. Well, it's a legitimate uh, match, so that's a victory for Team Light. Okay, now I have to remember to actually select the shifty station. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to keep all of the normal stages off. Now let's, uh, how's it going? Welcome. And that leaves only the shifty stations. Okay, this time I'm going to put Aquatic on her actual team, and we're going to have Adam volunteer for Diark. <laughs> for real? That's how it's going to be, huh? If it's going to give us the same stage over and over again, I'll actually just manually select them. <laughs> and yes, um, I will... Okay, because it's on stream, I'll just delete three uh, people at a time, so those who want to send me a friend request can do so. All right, let's do it. Same stage. Because why not? But yes, for those of you who are just now showing up, uh, you can use uh, the vote form that Subspace and I are providing for you to select which team you would like to be on. Once you do select a team, please put either an L in your switch username for Team Light or a D for Team Dark. And you have to wear this Blackfist T replica. Gotta get some lunch really quick. I get ya. Bon appetit! Okay, if we do get the stage again, three times in a row back to back, I will manually just go down the list on the Splatfest stages, flat out. It's a potent combo! I'm gonna ch actually ch actively try to perform substrafes this uh, stream just, you know, because. And if you don't know what substrafing is, it's a technique that a lot of pro players use where you literally hold out your sub weapon and just it allows for much more quicker maneuverability and it's really good for just avoiding attacks all around just hold out your sub weapon and use it to stop any momentum from swimming and just turn on a dime easy peasy though I think it only works if you have enough to actually use a sub weapon up ink. Ouch. <laughs> Peaks, how's it going? Welcome. Okay. Oh, but you changed your username. Gotcha. Thank you, Skipper, for getting those blondes. 
Ouch. Yeah, that thing's got a rapid time to splat up all the hits, uh, hit you back to back. It's pretty quick. But like I said, that's only if they actually connect. Which, admittedly, doesn't happen as often because of the shot RNG. But that's pretty much it. Destroy the forms, destroy the forms. Ouch! I want to destroy the hyper bombs. I think the best way to utilize the princess cannon is to fire it at the enemy's base if because you know obviously everyone's gonna be clearing out to try and even use the hyper the princess cannon, so. At that point, you might as well just fire it at the base, since they're all going to be respawning there. <laughs> that looks pretty close. Let's see who took it. Team Light took it again. Okay, if we get this stage for a third time, I'm going to manually go down the list of the Splat the stages, because that was ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so here's how the levels are going to work, just to save time. Well, actually, okay, yeah, I should. I'll clear out my friends list. I'm only going to, you know, clear out, delete three friends for the time being, just because I'm during this, during this, doing this during the stream. Uh, okay. Don't quite remember you. That's a nice PFP, though, dang. Wore the same headgear and shoes. <laughs> Lols. The mine's fully customized. I think. Do I remember you? I remember you, yeah. Okay, so that's two friend requests. Jeez, this takes forever. Okay, uh... That's a lot. Are they repeats, actually? Let me check. Switch name is Mr. Clean. Gotcha. However, um... Let me provide a vote form for you guys really quickly. Please use it to select which team you would like to join. And depending on which team you join, put either an L in your Switch username for Team Light or a D for Team Dark. Okay, let me see how many I'm actually getting really quickly. Okay, that's Light. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need to delete three, no, three more friends now. Okay, jeez. You think clearing out 20, I should have, I actually should have cleared out 30. Come, come to think of it, that'd be like 10 per day. That would actually help out a lot. Okay, don't quite remember this person. I apologize. I really just like it when I'm, I remove friends that still occasionally play with me from time and time again, but I remove them because I don't recognize them because they change their names. <laughs> that actually really sucks. Name I do not, cannot read. Any day now, thank you. Go home for a good Splatoon PFP <laughs> before you make one. I get you. Okay, uh, d d d d d okay, blue splat still pops in. Don't quite remember this person. Okay, I'll delete one more friend, and that should be enough. Hopefully. This is taking forever. I apologize for the setback, everyone. Yeah, it sucks when I remove friends that still play with me occasionally, but they change their name so I don't recognize them, and then I remove them. That sucks. Okay. Add friends. Let's do it. Light Ziggy. Please wait, I am waiting. 
Four more days and still Splatoon 3. Heck yeah, dude. Despite the complaints that I have that are still within the game, I am still excited for it. Actually, considering the fact that nothing carried over from the main game, I wonder if we'll have to do the tutorial again. I actually wouldn't mind that because the tutorial itself, it, that's just, it's still a little, you know, charming thing that they included. So I, I wouldn't mind doing the tutorial again, honestly. Okay, let's go. Thirty keep everyone waiting. I should have deleted thirty <laughs> friends instead of twenty. That would have been ten per day. Hey Squidward, should I use Mr. Cleanser or Dr. Clean? Yes. <laughs> That's freaking funny. Okay, I see. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Let me make sure really quick. Any more D's or L's? Don't see any? Okay, so we're back in it. Alright, I didn't... Wow, no communication error. What a surprise. Alright, so yes. The password is 1008, and I will be doing... You know, the faster method where it's two rounds and then everyone has to leave, so new people can join. It's just faster than, you know, exiting a lobby and making a new one. So this time I actually can pin the message. Or the, the yeah, the message, the freaking The message that I pinned is the password for my lobby. Okay, let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four lights. We need one more dark. One more dark. One more dark, one more dark, one more dark, one more dark. This is the end of for the Splatoon 2. Uh, I mean, not necessarily. You can always go back to it. Yeah, j just ignore the bots. Act, act like they don't exist, because they might, you know, they might as well not. <laughs> Goo sponge. What do I feel like using? Um, let's go with this one. Gonna stick with this. What's my favorite Splatoon? Um, can't say for sure because, you know, Splatoon 3 isn't out yet, but considering the fact that in Splatoon 3 we can finally choose our main abilities, that alone might just make Splatoon 3, my favorite, just because of that alone. Oop, I got a friend request. Okay, I'll accept it very soon. Leaf, how's it going? Welcome. Yep, j just ignore the bots. They're... Jeez, they're just made by people who have no freaking life, who have nothing better to do. Try to get you to click a link so they can get your, you know, personal stuff. It's, it's dumb. I wish YouTube would fix the problem. And I'm not the only one having problems with them either. I know a lot of others who are having the same issue. But yeah, let's ignore them. They're not worth anything. Hello, Dynamo. Dynamos are always scary. I pressed dodge roll the instant I got splatted. Jeez. Charge up that one. I saw you, Ripley's. Dang. It's like whenever I want to splash down cancel, I can't. I mean, I, I can get splash down cancels, just not as easily. Hello, peeps. I honestly forgot how fun this weapon is. 
The only thing I really do not like about it is the fact that it is very, very ink hungry. So, it's a harder weapon to actually use effectively because you're going to be running out of ink a lot. But this is still a very strong weapon. Whoa, that sponge just freaking shoved me. <laughs> There's a new form of mobility right there, in the form of a sponge. Hey Squidward, look! The amazing Mr. Absorbency! No one's gonna want to see you and gorge yourself. <laughs> Lol. What's my favorite weapon to use? Favorite weapon or sub weapon? Don't I don't really have a particular favorite sub weapon, but favorite main weapon would either be the vanilla splatter shot or the NZAP eighty nine. Ouch. The Dooley's Clusters are fun too. I feel a little more com uh, comfortable with weapons that have a little more range to them. But at the same time, due to how ink hungry this kit is, it's like hard to use. Which is the only thing that really, uh, you know, makes me kind of scrape away from it a little. And oddly enough, I don't think Ink Saber Main helps out that much. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta clean the bathroom? BRB. Okay, do what you gotta do. Okay, before I tally the score, let me actually... Yep, okay, that's a legitimate win. Nice. Do, it, do I do time battles? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Ready! Okay, you can play and I will spectate. Cannon Fire Pearl! Oh, you mean the battle multipliers? Oh, yes, I do. Three times and five times battle multipliers. Three times battle win. Whenever one of the lucky numbers shows up. I have only gotten one battle multiplier so far. And, like, in the, in the three days I've been streaming this. So... Out of the six hours I've been streaming, or six and a half rather, I've only gotten one battle multi. No, have I? Or have I gotten two? I might have gotten one three times and one five times so far. I'm not entirely sure. Can't remember. But let's see if I get any of this stream. Good luck to both teams! Uh, I think you mean who is my favorite idol. <laughs> and favorite idols... You know, uh, for me, it's always, you know... I like them all equally because... It's like the, you can't have one without the other kind of thing. Dun, dun. But if we're talking specific teams, then... I mean, Splatoon 2 was my first Splatoon. I skipped out on Splatoon 1, which I regret doing. But I really like the chemistry between Kelly and Marie. <laughs> you have one that's really outgoing, and then you have one that's really laid back. <laughs> Both of their personalities, while complete opposites, they just clash so well. <laughs> I remember this one, uh, like for uh, Chris, uh, it was a holiday themed one. Like, I think it was like... No, it wasn't Socks vs. Spiders, that was Splatoon 2. It was like... It was like, uh, are you on the goodness list or the naughty list? 
and like the results of that Splat Fest, like uh, Kelly made like a big no, it, yeah, Kelly made a big deal of losing or so, or something, and then she was like, she was like, enjoy what embarrassing me on live television, and then Marie just has this look like, oh, jeez, I uh, chill. It was freaking funny. Wait, how did that not splat you? Dang. UDC? Wonderful. How far into the match was it, do you know? Was it 45 seconds? Was it over 45 seconds in or less than 45 seconds? Just now? Okay, so someone on Team Light needs to hang back. So someone on Team Light, please jump back to the spawn and just, you know, hang back. Oh, wait. What team are you on? Is your Team Light? Okay, Team Dark needs to hang back. Someone on Team Dark needs to hang back. <laughs> Don't make this a 2v4. Silly me. Someone on Team Dark needs, needs to hang back. And thank you, Ninja Pawn. Okay, so when, when I'm the one spectating, I need to pay more uh, attention to the DCs because I'm not playing. I'm spectating. I can pay more attention to that. Wait, both teams have a DC? Uh, okay, no, no one hangs back. Okay, I, depending on what the overall score is, I'll decide whether this counts or not. This match was just a mix-up. Jeez. This match was a mix-up. Yeah, that looked too one-sided. I don't think I'll count. I, I don't think I'm counting this match. Uh, someone went below 300 anyway, so or 400. Yeah, uh, this match isn't gonna count. Well, that was an interesting kerfuffle. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Okay, so was that the second or? first match of this lobby, I can't remember. I think it was the second? Okay, so that means everyone who is currently in it, uh, please uh, back out so more people can join. It was the second? Okay, yeah, so <laughs> thank you. So everyone who is currently here, please back out so more people can come in. Oh, that's right, I played the first match with the Dooley Squelchers. Durr. Okay, now for those who want to play, you can jump right in. Well, new, new people who want to play who haven't played yet. Do bum bum. All right, so. Yeah, you do have to wait 15 seconds, but now those who, of you who were in the lobby can rejoin if they'd like to. Ain't that roundup? Roundup? You accepting friend requests right now? Um, yes, I am, actually. I do it in between lobbies. So if it's full, please let me know so I can remove some friends. I have to remove friends anyway, so I might as well just do that. <laughs> Sheesh. Did you play last round, so you're joining. Alright. Gotcha. Got in and out? Got a trip? It was fun playing. Okay, have a good one. Stay safe. Enjoy the trip. Okay, so we have four lights, we need three more darks. Anyone on t uh, Team Dark can rejoin. We need two more darks now. Dos. Paul, how's it going? Welcome. If you might quote a title of a song from Devil May Cry, Bury the Light. <laughs> I'm guessing you're on Team Dark. 
And if you wish to join us, you're more than welcome to. So let me actually go ahead and get this vote form for you to fill out if you haven't already. You can vote for which team you would like to be on. This is the final subfest. And then once you do, please put either an L in your switch username for Team Light or a D for Team Dark. Can't get on right now, unfortunately. Maybe towards the end of the stream. It's okay. I mean, I I am going to be um. Uh, we are heading over to Jackogen's stream after this, so if you haven't participated yet, you still have a chance to. He is going to be the last person streaming this event, though, so if you want to join at all, that's going to be your last chance to do so. Okay, I'll accept that request really quickly. Hopefully I got some more friends. Alright, enough space. Oh, I got two. Okay. Na, 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 na. I'm thinking, uh, considering I'm not really okay. Here's the deal, though. Um, I think at some point my switch will end up doing what um, subspace's switch is doing, where it continues to overheat. So, I was thinking of making a brand new account for the Switch OLED. That way, when I start streaming Splatoon 3, I don't have to deal with this friends list problem. But, at the same time... That means if my Switch does end up overheating, I'll have to transfer my this account over to that one, and I'll have two different accounts, and... I would rather just stick to one account than end up getting... Yeah, I ended up getting an OLED specifically for Splatoon 3. Oh wait, did I accept that request yet? I deleted a friend, but then I didn't accept it. <laughs> wow. I am so smart. Does OLED have higher friends limit? Unfortunately, no. Which is very disappointing. You think, due to the fact that it has, I think, twice as much memory internal memory storage, they would bump it up to 500. And if that takes up you know, some of the memory storage, then that's fine. I mean, the Switch OLED is its own console. I'm not going to be transferring everything over to it, at least not yet. So I have plenty of memory storage to boot. So if they used up a little bit of memory storage for the sake of a, a bigger friends list, then that'd be nice. Okay, so we have an even eight players, but we have way too many lights okay there's another dark goody okay good golden how's it going welcome it's flat three oh uh, no it's just the it's the regular model though i am considering getting the splitting three pro controller you know just in case it's nice to have some backup controllers okay so light let me get all the lights sorted out first uh hold on just to make things a little easier so light, light, light. I'm going down the list on who will play first. Okay, dark, dark, and dark. Okay, I'm gonna have recruit, volunteer for dark. Actually, no, uh, you two will actually, since you're just now joining the lobby, I'll have you two play. I'll spectate with Agent 3, and we need, we still need someone to volunteer for Dark, so let's see. I'll go down the list. Okay, so I need to remember this, so... Skipper needs to be put on their normal team next game. And Agent 3 needs to play the next game. Along with, uh, uh I'll, you know, <laughs> I'll just drop over when I get there. And we get the same stage again. Lovely. Internet is being weird. Yeah, the internet will do that. Ooh, we got close to a uh, battle multiplayer there.
Favorite anime? Don't really have one. I'm not much of an anime person. I have seen my fair share of anime, but don't really have a particular favorite. For the ones I have seen, I've seen Sword Art Online Season 1, Attack on Titan Season 1. Um, let's see. The, the Blue Exorcist Season 1. I've seen all three seasons of Sonic X. And oddly enough, uh, the English uh, voice actors for the main pro uh, protagonists in all three, Sword Art Online, Attack on Titan, and The Blue Exorcist, are all the same English voice actors. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's actually pretty cool. But what else, what else have I seen? I think that's honestly about it, unless I'm forgetting some. I'm probably forgetting some. But yeah, I'm not much of an anime kind of person. I'll, I'll watch it. I don't mind it. But I don't like a binge, binge it or anything. I've seen a little bit of uh, Pokemon, actually. There was this one uh, movie I saw where... I can't remember what it was called, but it's where the Pokemon Manaphy makes their first appearance. At least in the anime. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> Welcome back, Bella. How's it going? Ooh, we're getting a Jakujin raid! Let's see who we got. We got Mario Man 64, Cuddle Bunny, and Jakujin himself. Welcome! How's it going? And welcome back, Fate. <laughs> Just got to Jack Stream and now you're here. Well, there you go. One place to another. Welcome, Jakujin. How'd your stream go? Did <laughs> Bonk. I eat sand! How's it going? Speaking of Jakujin, I believe we are going to be raiding Jakujin as soon as my stream is over, which is in another hour and ten minutes. Pretty well. Sorry to raid and leave, but you gotta get food. It's cool. Do what you gotta do. Bon appetit. Gonna eat some... <laughs> Since we're on the topic of mac and cheese the other stream, I, I literally ended up calling mac and cheese Jack and Cheese. <laughs> Jack and Cheese. Or Jacko Cheese. Bonk. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out for any DCs. That was the respawn? Okay, they're both just planted. Okay, good stuff. While I spectate, I watch for DCs. What's a DC? Uh, a disconnect. You know where someone disconnects from the match. But DC also means, you know, DC Comics or DC Universe. You know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. All those classic comic book superheroes. But we're talking DC as in Disconnect. <laughs> Dude, imagine that for a Splatfest in Splatoon 3. Batman versus Spider-Man. Like, it'd be like... Marvel, DC, and I'm not sure any other comics that really are similar to either of those two, so if anything, that would probably be a an interesting custom Splatfest, because there's only two. Do you prefer Marvel or DC? <laughs> That'd be an interesting custom Splatfest. <laughs> okay, let's see. That is a victory for Team Adair. Okay, now comes the tricky bit. Um, I'm going to play. You will play. We're going to have you play on your actual team. That's not going to work, isn't it? Okay, hold on. So I'm going to have you spectate and you spectate, and we're going to have you volunteer for Dark. 
Okay, let's go. A Sonic Slash this would be cool. I imagine in Splatoon 3, um, since the colors were in fact blue, yellow, and red, just imagine Sonic versus Tails versus Knuckles. That would be freaking cool. That would be amazing. I'd vote Team Sonic in an instant because Sonic is just, he, he's my favorite uh, video game mascot, flat out. Indeed, it would be a Sonic Heroes themed Splatfest. That would just be so freaking cool. If Nintendo doesn't do that, that is just a serious missed opportunity. Something fierce, dude. But we all know how Nintendo feels about, you know, including or promoting other franchises. It's like, no! But at the same time, they do have Sega Genesis games in their Switch Online service, or ex extended, whatever the heck you want to call it. So, if anything, they could do it. They could. If they don't, then it, they're just missing out or just being boring. <laughs> Blue, yellow, and red, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and they have Sega Genesis games with their online expansion stuff, so there's quite literally no reason they could not do that Splatfest at all. No reason in the slightest. Though another interesting Splatfest would be, what is your preferred method of travel? Do you prefer land, sea, or air? Land being, you know, stuff like cars and stuff, sea being boats, ships, and air being aeroplanes. Because that would be another interesting, uh, not a custom one, but an official splat fest for Splatoon 3. So that's another good one they could do. This was a bad idea. A very bad idea. A super duper bad idea. Do it! Has missed good potential themes in the past. Let's get the Pokemon themes for upcoming release. <laughs> like, seriously. They could have done, like, uh, what's your favorite starter Pokemon? Because uh, typically, the starter Pokemons are always, like, the same. You have a, you have a, a grass, fire, and a water type, typically. So, that could be another Splatfest theme. First Legend 3. What's your favorite starter Pokemon type? Grass, fire, or water? Man. Quasi splat zones. No, my bomb go bye bye. Ouch. Nah, 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 nah. Gonna Ramsey versus <laughs> Bobby Flay or Guy F something. Not sure. I would probably go Gordon Ramsey as well. <laughs> Lol. Ghost of M, how's it going? Welcome! Judge! Okay. But yeah, there are a lot of really good potential Splatfest things that Nintendo could do. Oh. Get away. No! Okay, I'll take the trade. Spicy versus sweet. Actually, that's actually no, that's another good uh, Splatfest theme. Do you prefer spicy food, sweet foods, or sour foods? That would be another good Splatfest theme. Sweet versus salty versus spicy. No. <laughs> sweet versus salty versus spicy. Yeah. No. Sweet versus spicy versus sour. <laughs> Lol. Salty. Okay, that was just barely 400, so that does make it a victory for Team Adark. Okay, so those of you who are currently in the lobby, please back out so more people can get the chance to join. Strawberry versus... Oh, ice cream theme. Strawberry versus chocolate versus vanilla. That'd be an interesting one. Uh, let's see, what are, uh, how about another dessert related one? Cake versus ice cream versus, I guess, yogurt or pudding? 
Wait, let me think about that for a second. We could probably do pudding versus yogurt versus jello. That would be an interesting one. Favorite berry? There's a lot of berries. So you'd have to narrow it down to like the three most popular ones. So it'd probably end up being blueberry versus raspberry versus... Let's see, what's another one? Okay, let's see who we got. We have one, two, three... We need one more team light person. One more light. Let's go. Cake versus ice cream versus cookies. How about four-way splat fists? You have chips versus cookies versus crackers versus pretzels. How about that one? A four-way splat fest. All right, let us do it. And this time, there is no actual real team balancing to be had. It's even Steven. Nice. Gusher Towns. Uh, what do I feel like using? You know what? It's been a while since I used the brushes. Let's go with the brushes. Gonna do cake versus ice cream again? Probably not. But that'd be kind of cool if it did. But I still imagine, like, maybe for the grand finale of Splatoon 3 Splatfest, it'll be like something like Squid Sisters versus Off the Hook versus Deep Cut, or just flat out Splatoon 1 versus Splatoon 2 versus Splatoon 3. That would be an interesting one. Kirby versus Meta Knight versus DDD. That would also be a really, a really good one. Link versus Zelda versus Ganondorf. Oh no, it'd be a battle of the Links. Toon Link? No, it'd be, you know, just Link versus Young Link versus Toon Link. It'd be a battle of the Links. You have Normal Link versus Young Link versus Toon Link. We're going brushes! Yes! Uh oh! Yes, I made it. And thank you for the subscription, it is much appreciated. Hope you like what you see. Welcome aboard! What the? <laughs> that was funny, actually. Shoot! Well, that did literally nothing. How did you survive that? I like doing that. <laughs> Red apple versus yellow apple versus green apple. That's a tough one. Jake, how's it going? Welcome. That's a tough one, though. I like all kinds of apples. Green grape, <laughs> green grapes versus purple grapes versus red grapes. Ooh, I just find a rushy. Oh, yeah, rush. Oh. Watch this. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, you got sweated? <laughs> Thought there'd be someone up there. I see your squid beacon. Very clever. Cleverly put. Jeez, that was loud. <laughs> Uh, isn't the Sephiroth so theme kind of like Light Smash going versus Dark On? It kind of is. It's also like Light Gaia versus Dark Gaia from Sonic Unleashed. Now or never.
PSP versus Steam Deck versus Switch, though. I'm pretty sure Steam Deck would be... I'm pretty sure people would... I mean, I don't know. The Switch, it's a more convenient console, but... Okay, this match isn't going to count since uh, Xander went below 400. Cuphead versus Mugman versus Miss Chalice. Team Mugman all the way. And that would work too, because it's the same colors. Blue, red, and yellow. Okay, so let's see. Um. Okay, you two will play, and I will... Top two will spectate. That's correct, right? Uh, light, light, light. Yep. Let's go. Make friends with diaries again. Okay, so yeah, that match isn't gonna count. <laughs> but yeah, please don't throw the games. Let's say make you spectate. That's it. Well. I do apologize. Switch, red, Xbox being green, PlayStation being blue. There was an Xbox blue. Something. What happens when Splat again is over? Uh, we will see in this uh, subspace lore story. What happened with the TMNT Splatfests? I mean, I didn't get to participate in that one, but I hear it was really long drawn out. Here's the weird thing. In this game, they do not have, you know, the Raphael versus Donna or no, Raphael versus yeah, Donatello colors, which is bizarre, but they have the other two. They don't even have the star mushroom versus star colors as selectable Splatfest colors, so sheesh. And they don't even have the one for Japan that was what were the two winning teams for Japan? I don't even remember. <laughs> And thank you, Subspace. I'll be needing that. Do they have any TMNT colors? Uh, they have the ones for, you know, uh, Leonardo versus Raphael and then Mikey versus Donnie. But that's it. They don't have Donnie versus Ralph. Which is kind of dumb. They don't even have Mushroom versus Power Star. Went on for too long, like three straight weeks. <laughs> exactly. It was a four way battle, but it was split up into threes. Actually, I'm surprised that they're not doing like um, a first, second, third kind of thing in Split in Three for the Swapfest. Like, the, you can have like the two winning teams go up against each other in the second half instead. But at the same time, that would kind of suck for the people that were on the opposite team, or the losing team. It, it'll make it'll make it so that they can't play anymore. So yeah, kind of a good thing that they're not doing that. Lol. Cuttlefish versus Octavio versus a phone <laughs> phone guy. What was his name again? Commander Tartar. That'd be an interesting one. Oh no, it might actually it might end up being something like. Ooh, you know what? Maybe one of the Splatfests would be which of the three agents? Agent 3, Agent 4, or whoever the heck we play as in Splatoon 3, which will most likely be Agent 7. So, Agent 3 versus Agent 4 versus Agent 7. Is the final loss in Splatoon 3 story is not DJ Octavio again? It's, it's probably going to be. Because, you know, he, he's like the main antagonist of the story. He's the OG. Or how about this? Like in Splatoon 3, Commander Tartar and Octavio team up. How about that? We find them both. Something that would actually be kind of cool is, um... Imagine being able to switch between your little buddy and the character you play as. Like, little buddy can enter a tight... It'd be, it, it would almost turn it into Ratchet and Clank, almost. Because, you know, you have little buddy uh, going to, like, little tight little mazes to solve puzzles to get your main character through the level. 
and then you just switch back to your main character. That'd be kind of cool. That would be interesting. Did it come out of Tartar die at the end of Akko's Fountain, though? Well... Was it? I mean, supposedly. We still see the statue there, so maybe that Maybe the statue being in this is foreshadowing, you never know. Yeet! There's that sub-strafing. <laughs> if you see someone zipping around, it could be lag, but it could also be because they're sub-strafing. Wow, at the last millisecond. Little Buddy versus Big Man versus Little Judd. <laughs> Actually, probably. Don't fall asleep on me, Switch. Imagine if it's a uh, little... Uh, imagine... I'm surprised for Splitch in 3 they didn't introduce... Like a big Judd, so it'd be Judd versus Little Judd, Judd versus versus Big Judd, and that's a victory for Team A Dark. Okay, so if you are currently in this lobby, please back out so new people can join. Roller versus brushes versus Watana. There's an interesting one. They're both very, they're all very similar, but very different at the same time. That's the interesting thing about these Splatfests. They choose like two different things, or different things that are very similar, but yet very different. So, kind of interesting. Still said that Big Pan lost with zero points in Rock Creeper Scissors. Yeah, the poor guy. Okay, let's see. Light, 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 and light. We need one more dark. Yeah, Splatoon 1 versus Splatoon 2 versus Splatoon 3. That's one that I actually suggested, but yeah, it's interesting. Oh, and actually, before I forget, there's something I would like to do for the final match on my end. Everyone who's on Team Light, select the Light Tetra Duelies, and everyone on Team Dark, select the Dark Tetra Duelies. <laughs> Oh wait, so one, two, three. Oh no, you're light. Oh wait, no one, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, someone on Team Dark needs to spectate. <laughs> I almost watched that up. No, someone on Team Light needs to spectate. Okay, so I'll spectate. <laughs> Why did that take me a minute to figure out what the frick? Okie dokie! What if the DLC, we get a new species like Octo Can't? Uh, I imagine... Hmm. What new species could... Uh, actually, we could get, uh, like, a man ray species, because isn't that what Big Man is? A man ray? Or a stingray? <laughs> man ray. That's the freaking Sp SpongeBob villain. What am I talking about? <laughs> man ray. But no, if, if anything, the new species would probably be stingray. But there's also jellyfish. What else is there? I imagine we get the play as a salmonoid. That'd be kind of cool. We have it as a buddy, anyway. <laughs> yeah, what uh, Subspace said. An Elder Scrolls Splatfest? Maybe like... Morrowind versus Oblivion versus Skyrim. That would be interesting. Nintendo versus Microsoft versus Sony. <laughs> Dang. Imagine that. That would go down. I know. Uh, this is not the final match for Light versus Dark. I am going for another 50 minutes, and then we will head on over to Jack Jakujin's stream, where he is going to be wrapping up this huge event. You want to be a Maz? Yo, imagine... Okay, you know how in World of Light, once you've made it like far enough into the story, you get to play as Master Hand? Imagine there's a mode where you get to play as... Like the... As Salmonoids. That'd be kind of cool. The other one Skyrim would win. Nobody under... <laughs> Let's play the previous two <laughs> lols. It would probably get popularity in that case, yeah. Ooh, I thought my game froze for a second. What the frick? Nope, we're good. But we do get little buddy. We get little shaman buddy. Little buddy. 
<laughs> All duelies. But yeah, uh, what I was suggesting is for the final match on my end of the stream, everyone on Team Light does Light Tetra duelies, and everyone on Team Dark does Dark Tetra duelies. D fate. I just mentioned this like Doctor Fate. Oops, all Tedra duelies. So we're gonna end it up on Mick Prince's Diaries, but nothing but the Dark and Light Tetras. See how that ends up. That was at the very end of that scene, right? Holy shoot. Shoes versus shirts versus hats. Actually, yeah. It'd be like, which, which piece of gear do you prefer? Or which fashion brand do you prefer? Do you prefer the headgear? The shirts? Or the shoes? Imagine if the pants actually had abilities as well. I think that'd be pretty cool. Having four sets of abilities. That'd be pretty neat. No shirts! No shoes! No service! Jeez. Freaking. The writing to SpongeBob is just so free. You could literally use it. You could meme it, like, in every way. It's, like, good for almost anything. It's just. The writing is just that good. Yeet! <laughs> With the new headgear, homie. Yeet! Yoink! Licorice versus cactus versus. Wait, what? Licorice versus cactus? Really? Actually, that kind of gave me a, an idea for another one. I can't remember what it is now, though. Duh. Let's see what the damage is. Yep, that's a victory for Team Adiarch. Don't fall asleep, Switch. Okay. So now I will play, and you will spectate. Fancy Spoo. Earth versus Moon versus Sun. <laughs> There's an interesting one. Just flat up blue versus red versus green. <laughs> Actually, uh, wait a minute. Aren't the primary colors blue, red, and yellow? I could be wrong about that. But that's literally what the colors were, so that could be a flat fist. What's your favorite primary color? Blue, red, or yellow? Is that the third Spongebob movie pretty much where's Gary all over again? It kind of is, to be honest. They can use all sorts of colors. Yeah, that's true. But notice how for this one in particular, they kind of stuck with the colors of the actual idols. For rock, paper, scissors. Hasn't it been two matches? Uh, this is the second match of this lobby. Sword versus bow versus staff. There's an interesting one. Internet still isn't working? Well, that's a shime. The internet will do that. Because you can join if you want to, anyone can. I'm trying to remember what the Splatfest idea I just had was. It just slipped in my mind. Gosh darn it. What was it? Spongebob versus Patrick versus Squidward. The colors are actually very similar, so that could work. <laughs> I 
I think we have an AFK. It looks like everyone's moving. Uh, wow. Complete whiff of that boy of Blahan. All hail the brush! I shall undo what that blue bone has done. <laughs> that, this guy almost got sandwiched between those bombs. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Whoa. On Splatfest, they can almost guarantee they'll do is. Let's freak. Gaudio versus Fettuccini versus. That's an interesting one. The ramen versus mac and cheese versus... No, wait a minute. Let me think about that. No. Soup versus cereal versus pasta. All are very similar because... Well... I guess those are similar? Kind of. I mean, soup and pasta are similar. They both involve noodles. <laughs> Give chase with that baller. Gotta go. Stew. Actually, that is true. Uh, Stu would have to be a fourth option, wouldn't it? Yikes! I'm alive! Dude, I just- I really like how fast the ink brush just gets its special. It's so- it's so- it's super quick. It's the cheapest special in the entire game. And the only one that is worth 150. Making it the- Yeah, the cheapest in the game. No other special is that cheap. <laughs> This thing just inks turf like it's nothing, so you're gonna be getting it quite often. And the thing has come to a stop. And let's see how that let's see what the damage is. Super Pug, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, Splatfest with the ends, that's pretty cool. That'd be pretty neat. Actually, there are uh, weapons with three kits, so... Imagine they all <laughs> go off of the triple kit ones. A victory for Team uh, Light. Okay, so... Everyone who is currently here, please back out so more people can join. Not at PAX. West Splatoon 3 tournaments stream people are posting Splatoon 3 spoilers. Like, it's dumb. It really is. But hey, they do it for the views. Because, you know. You're welcome, Ghost of M. Have a good one, and stay safe. Thank you for dropping by. Okay, let's see. Light, light. Light, light, and we need one more dark. Oh, that's correct, right? One more dark? Yeah, well, one more dark. Una mas, go for word. You really dislike spoilers. People ended up spoiling the final boss of MHR, Sunbreak. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I'll spoil myself, depending on how excited I am for something, but... Yeah, I'm not doing that for Sp Splatoon 3. Nice. Completely even. Next brush. Ink brush. N no, though, however the heck it's pronounced. The next lobby with the angler fish mask is strong. <laughs> it is up to you. I know some people are ruining these friends for everybody else. I know, it's... Like, seriously. It's like, like you can just flat out quote Plankton. What is wrong with people? <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> that question alone just... <laughs> Freaking point to do. What is wrong with people? Seriously, I don't think anyone in Bikini Bottom would recognize a decent meal if it looked him right in the eye and said, Hello there, I'm a decent meal. How wonderful to meet you. Please pay money for me and then put me in your mouth so your old pal Flea doesn't lose everything he spent his entire life working for. Jeez. You have yet to be spoiled. Eh, so do I. I haven't seen anything Splatoon related since the spoilers have been dropping. Exactly. It's someone who's voice Splatoon 3 for everyone. Everyone point and laugh. Not very poggers to be spoiling a game that everyone are so excited for. The Dude Squad. Do, do, do. Putting mines in here would be kind of pointless. But I can still paint it. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Bubbles. Wasn't sure what this guy was doing. Hello. Jump. Oh, ninja poon. Ninja poon. Hello. Oh, but that's not ninja poon. <laughs> Looked like him for a second. <laughs> I'm a goofball. And a wing nut. And a knucklehead McSpathatron. I think I saw someone up there. No. Lols. Boom. Stage one contamination or whatever. Oh no! Don't hit me with that one. Yes. Cause my ink mine to go boom. Yes. Cause my ink mine to go boom. Hey, a bubble! I wanted to pop it! No, 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 okay, wait. I wanted to pop that bubble. Yes, cause my ink wine to go boom. This thing does not build up as special as fast as the last one does. Yes, cause my ink wine to go boom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, the thing I like about ink mines is that they're just a cheeky way to like ink some turf, and you can play two at a time, so they're kind of like a burst bomb, but not really. Goofball versus Winnie, not versus Knucklehead makes pass a trunk. How are the three different Spindle movies? I would choose the original, flat out. SpongeBob season one versus two versus three. Okay. Woo! You were in the swiggle. Swiggle. Okay, someone went below 400, so that match is not going to count. Dang. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to have I'll spectate. Actually, no. There's. I want to make sure I get through all the brushes, so I'm going to have you two spectate. I apologize. I want to make sure I get through all the brushes, and then I can do the picture. Why do you keep running up to put ink in the middle? <laughs> uh, because, like, you know, if the plates 
got surrounded with the enemy team, they would still be hit with an incline when they got in there. <laughs> just because. Has done this again this stream. Just Beckham. Are they doing it, like, consistently? Have they done it, like, a lot during Subspace's stream? Because if so, then yeah, I'll just keep them on spectate. Because this is the second time from my stream. And while we're using a dynamo, it's still a pretty good weapon for turfing. They did it in Substream 2. Okay, so Xander, if you are watching this, one more below 300 and you will be put on spectate for the remainder, okay? Please do not throw games. Nobody likes it. Apple Link Girl, bring the sting right here and woo! And if your stream is so, she wouldn't have known. It's cool. But as long as, you know, there's uh, viewers who are in your stream beforehand, that, that actually helps a lot. Yeah, because when I was up there, it looked like they were just throwing ink upwards, not sure if they were actually turfing. I was like, is this guy playing? Oh, you tagged me. Good job. Oh, but I'm still too fast. Whoa. <laughs> that was sick. Someone clipped that. <laughs> that was freaking sick. That was smooth. I should just super jump. <laughs> Jeez. Accidental grapple link connection into a one swing splat. <laughs> get around, get around, get around. Okay, we're good. Yay, Agent 3 tactics. What? How are you not dead? Number phobia. <laughs> there is a phobia for long words, and in a very stupid way, the word that means that exact thing is a long word in and of itself. So, what? The fear of long words, the word for that is a long word, so... <laughs> It's like whoever made up that word is just being a d-bag to whoever has that fear. It's like, oh yeah, let's make fun of people who have this particular phobia by making the word the exact reason they're afraid of it. <laughs> yep, that's the word. And I literally have no idea why it's that long or how any of those Latin roots put into those put into that actually makes any sense at all. It, it makes no sense to me. I wonder if an incline can actually hit me with a grapple link. Let's find out, shall we? Now the blast isn't big enough. <laughs> Ouch! Who's going to win for the results? We have no idea yet. I like ink mines. They're just a cheeky way of getting some sneaky ink turfed. I'll let you take care of that one. And there we go. Okay, so this is game two. Okay, they just barely went over 400. However, I'm keeping an eye on them, because 
that is a little... It's like they're waiting until they get just a little over and then stopping. I want to see them get 500 next game. If they do not get 500, they're going to be put on spectate for the remainder. Because that's a little iffy. However, that was the second game of this lobby, so those who are still here, please back out and give others a chance to join. I think that, uh, that was the dynamo. Yeah, it was. But the dynamo is still a really good turf coating weapon. It throws turf every if <laughs> turf. It throws ink everywhere. Okay, let's see. Light, 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 light. We have one too many lights. One. Nice. Let's go. Net. Okay, so dark, light, dark. Dark. Okay, so. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What the frick? Okay, so I'm gonna have you volunteer for dark and you volunteer for dark. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll make sure you're put on your normal team for the next match. Permanent ink brush. Ooh, so close to a multiplier. How many more lobbies do you think I'll be streaming for? Let's see. Uh, it's an hour. I have a half hour to go, so that could equate to another maybe three lobbies. It could. Fate is on the wrong team. I know. I had them volunteer because we need, you know, to balance the teams out. I'll make sure they're put on their normal teams the next match, though, and then I will volunteer. Oh, wait a minute. Frick, I put a D on Team Light. I'm a wee too odd. That face should be swapped. <laughs> yeah, I just now noticed that. I'm a wee too odd. <laughs> Jeez. I, for some reason, I saw only two darks in the lobby. I didn't see a third one. Photophobia is fear of the light. Because photo was Latin root for light. That's why flash photography, you know, photo, light, you're also scared of heights. Not sure what the word for that is. Though, we all know the very common phobia, arachnophobia, fear of spiders or arachnids. It's not just spiders, because scorpions also qualify it as arachnids. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to put that sprinkler. I really dislike sprinkler kits. I I just don't like them. Get through! Because sprinklers to me just feel like they're giving up a sub weapon for more freaking specials. That's all they feel like to me. I do not like uh, sprinklers at all. You personally like spiders? I don't have arachnophobia, but uh, it's weird for me because it's like depending on the type of spider, I don't mind being around it in its presence. Like, if it's, you know, if it's a venomous spider, then yeah. I don't want to be anywhere near it. But here's the thing. Uh, even venomous spiders are not out to, you know, aren't out to physically try to get you. They try to avoid you more than anything, but, you know. Don't squid bag. I'll put you on spectator if you squid bag. It's not nice. It's bad sportsmanship and nobody likes it. Nah, nah, nah. Hello, baller. <laughs> yeah, the permanent first kit just, unless you get the armor, it feels, you know. <laughs> and don't taunt either. I'm watching you two. I'll put you on spectate if you continue to do so, okay? Or flat out remove you from my friends in the states. Oh, and to, either way, it's entirely up to you guys what you're. Wait, you decide your fate. You know your mom got stung by a wasp once? She was allergic, so it was... Oh gosh, an allergic reaction? Dang. 
I've only been stung. I think I've only been stung by two wasps. But here's the thing. I was not even aware of their presence. <laughs> Yellow jackets, wasps, and hornets, they're just they're just a-holes. <laughs> they're aggressive. They'll sting you even if you're not provoking them. <laughs> like flat out. They're just aggressive. Or more aggressive than hornets. I mean, it sucks, because honeybees, like, bees like honeybees, they're the ones that die when they sting you, because their stingers are barbed, so when they try to pull it out, the, the stinger is connected to their internal organs, so it, they come out with it, which is very sad. And those are the bees that don't deserve to die when they sting you. Pegasy, welcome! How's it going? Yellow jackets and wasps, however, yeah, they're just... They're just mean. And they can sting you repeatedly, so... Okay, one... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this will be a... 1v3? Or a 3v... 1v3, yeah. No, this will be a 3v3. Okay, so... Make sure you're on the right teams this time, and let's see. Gonna have you spectate. Okay. The secret of SPLAT. Doing good? Good to hear, Pugazi. Yeah, honeybees do it like as a last resort. They only do it if they feel threatened. Like yellow jackets and wasps, however, they just. Okay, this match ain't counting. <laughs> yeah, they they sting you regardless. It's it, those are the one bugs I can say that that actively. Well, here's the deal: they only do it like if you get close to them, but they are provokers. They are. It's like they actively look for trouble. Are smart enough to huddle <laughs> around them and and swarm up, swarm with their bodies. Even warmer, that's killing the hornet. That's true, yeah. Just missed joining? It's cool. This match ain't gonna count. Do 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 do. They are, in fact, meanie heads. <laughs> Death by cuddles. Way to go, bees. Even their last resort is something nice, isn't it? Plus they're fuzzy, so it, you know they have the little fuzz to back them up. Okay, so this match isn't gonna count. So jump, jump, jump. Your brother one time was looking up like what about counting to four, and he found an article that says Australian scientists have proven that bees can count to four. How exactly? These are the homies. Honeybees. Honeybees are nice. I like honeybees. They give us honey. They give us honey. They pollinate our flowers. All that fun stuff. Whee! But yeah. Like, bugs, they typically only, you know, any kind of creature that has a defensive mechanism like a bite or a sting or a pinch or whatever, it doesn't matter. They only, you know, inflict it if they feel provoked. So just, they avoid you, they want to avoid you more than anything. But if you, you know, mess with them, then they will provoke you. And I can give respect to rattlesnakes because at least they're kind enough to give you a warning with their rattle. It's like they're saying, hey, buddy, you're getting too close for comfort. Come any closer and I'll have to attack you. Other snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm calling snakes snacks from now on. I'm just calling them a little wet noodle. Snakeies, they're little wet noodles. But no, other snakes, however, they try to blend in to avoid confrontation, but 
that's also a problem because they have no warning like mechanism like a rattlesnake does, so if you get too close to them, it's not your fault. You didn't see them, and they still bite you anyway. It's like, hey, you're getting too close. Can you not see me? Oh, wait, I'm camouflaged. You know, is that kind of thing. Sounds so wrong. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, they're snakes. They they kind of are little wet noodles. Well, scaly. Because there are water there are water snakes. There are such a thing as uh, aquatics aquatics uh, serpentine. Aquatic serpents. But yeah, garden snakes on the other hand are completely harmless. In fact, I actually stumbled upon one when I was out walking my dogs one time with mom. And there was a little garden snake just slithering across the little path. It was nice. It was pretty cool. They're harmless, though. Another good way to tell if a, a snake is venomous or not is the shape of their heads. Typically, venomous snakes have a diamond-shaped head. While, you know, non-venomous ones have a more rounded-looking head. I, I think I think that's how you do it. I'm not the best. I, I'm, I'm not a... I'm not an animal expert, I'm not a zoologist, but I do know some things. <laughs> okay, so this match don't count. And yes, there is a difference between poison and venom. Poison needs to be consumed or absorbed, while venom is injected via a series of fangs or a stinger. While they have very similar properties, they're still kind of different. Anywho, okay, so let me see. I don't think I, I don't think I need to ask anyone to leave the lobby since those last two matches were a bit of a were a bit messy. But uh, let me go ahead and put everyone on neutral really quickly, just to make things easier. So let's see. Let me start out the lights first. There's four lights: dark, 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 and dark. Okay, so you will. You two will spectate this match. I'll make sure you guys get to play the next one, though. Gush your downs. Okay, what do I feel like using? Let's go with Anzoop. But yeah, little fun facts for y'all. Don't worry, Saturn will get the chance to play next game. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. So I've got another, like, 20 minutes left, so i got plenty of time. Uh, last comment about Baby Venomous on it? Oh, let me see. Uh, baby Venomous Hounds are scarier than the adult ones because they have... Oh yeah, exactly. They have no control over how much venom they inject in you, so... Despite, you know, being more, uh... You know, fragile. They're more dangerous, so it's kind of scary. So take a baby black widow. Like, if they bite you, they have no control over how much venom they inject. So they're definitely a lot more dangerous than a, you know, than a matured black widow. Because they actually can control how much uh, venom they put into you. But, and speaking of, the main, like, the biggest reason uh, people are bit is because it's mainly around residential areas where there's a lot of uh, wildlife around it they'll leave their shoes outside and overnight you know spiders will crawl into those shoes as a little safe haven like oh I'll be safe in here so when they put their shoes on little do they know there's a little surprise waiting for them in the form of a venomous bite and they bite you because obviously when you put your shoes on you that's you know uh, get your feet comfortable, and when you're doing so, you press up against the spider, and they take that as being attacked. They only really attack if they're if there's any pressure applied to the abdomen, because they will immediately perceive that as you know being attacked. So that's when they bite. Just admire them from a safe distance if you like spiders that much. Do not provoke it in any way, and you'll be completely fine. They're not actively out to harm you, <laughs> unlike wasps who are provokers. So yeah, important life lessons for you guys. 
It might just save your life one day. You never know. And you can have me to thank for it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If anything, um, you can, uh, you have whoever, you know, the content creators I watch for that stuff to thank for it. I watch a lot of uh, Brave Wilderness because it's inter it's in interesting learning about, you know, different uh, species and stuff. So I learned that from them. So you kind of have them to think, right? <laughs> and I'm passing that knowledge on to you guys. Free of charge. I'm just gonna hang up here. Oh wow, if it's too high, it actually won't travel towards somebody. There's a GC, you're staying back? Okay. <laughs> it's hard for me to notice DCs when I'm the one playing. It's easier for me to notice if I'm spectating. Because sometimes I can perceive it as someone, oh, they just got sweated and now we're waiting for them to respawn. Uh oh. Yike! Lols. The animals you get scared of are the bigger ones, like bears and mountain lions. That's true. But again, th they don't actively seek out, you know, to kill you. Un unless they're hungry, then I guess they will resort to hunting any nearby uh, humans that are within their vicinity. And they sniff out. I don't know. But any under any like normal circumstances, no. And if you are attacked by a bear, the best thing to do is to curl up into a ball, and make sure to keep your hands behind your neck, because that's typically what they go for. If they get a good grip on you, trust me, you, you're gonna have a hard time. You probably won't survive because their bite is strong. They have a huge bite force. So yeah, keep, keep your neck protected and curl up in a ball. The worst that can happen is they just uh, push you around. <laughs> I died the exact same way twice. <laughs> Deja vu, huh? <laughs> Look, wow. By 1%. Not point of one, but one. Forty-four point four four. Okay, and that was the DC, and all is over four hundred. So let's go. Good stuff. Okay, so I think the next lobby I do is going to be the last one. Okay, I'm gonna give you one chance here. Okay, so I'll spectate. Uh, let me see. Someone on Team Dark needs to spectate now, so... And Paul hung back, so I'm not going to spectate them. Wait a minute. No, we need, an we need another Team Light. Okay, so... I'll spectate... Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I wish we could just do 5v5s. I mean, seriously. That'd be nice. Bouncy Twins! Okay, so the next lobby I do are going to be the last two games for me, and then I will bring you guys on over to Jackojin's channel, where he will be finishing up this huge three-day Splatfest event. Subfest. Better for brown bears. It, yeah, that's true. But it's still a good defense, regardless. Because if they can't... Yeah, it'll probably hurt your hands if they go for the neck, but at least... You know, it won't be a tight squeeze on your neck. Everyone's favorite bouncy twins. Take care, Sand. Have a good one. Stay safe. <laughs> now, now, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob has taught us a lot of important life lessons, such as oh, how to fall out of an airplane, for instance. Yeah, and to come home and me myself. In fact, I think it's time we repay him, don't you? Great idea, pal! Oh, you got a five times here on your stream today? Nice! I still have not received any battle multipliers. So, I've got two more chances for a battle multiplier. Yes. 
Hey, thank you for the subscription. Much appreciated. Welcome aboard. Hope you like what you see. Jump. Ugh. Okay. Two more rounds to go after this one. Let's see how many I can see I can take. Okay, and I'm still checking for DCs. Are those respawns or DCs? That one's a respawn. Let me check the other one. Okay, it was a respawn. Okay, so no DC so far. Good. Nah, nah. <laughs> you fell. <laughs> I feel like that happens more often on this. I mean, it does happen more often on this station. I think. What am I talking about? My bouncing twins are so easy. I mean, I don't know. It's possible that squid being in squid form makes you lighter. <laughs> yep, someone else fell. I feel like the reason any team would like outright lose this t on this stage is simply because they keep falling, and not because they're actually getting outmatched. Wing, wing, go. Eek. Okay. Uh, oh, I almost got off work. It's satisfying when you're playing Rainmaker and you get like all, all four opponents on the enemy team plus the Rainmaker shit. Oh, good. <laughs> that platform pushed me backwards. It's satisfying when you get all five though. If Xander gets under 400 points, this match won't count. <laughs> exactly. This is the one exception where we do that. Oh yeah, Nope, nope, gotta go. Move, gotta move. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Hey, good. Doing good? Good to hear? Me too. <laughs> that completely got rid of my ache. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, you remember me? Yeah, I'm the guy that could be out of do 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 Jeez. I'm the guy with the dodge belts. Dun, 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 dun. What those? Whoa. <laughs> that was an ancient holy shoot. And let's see how it goes. Okay, these next two games are going to be my last two on my end. <laughs> GG, this map is bad. It's fun for squid partying, but not really for actually playing. That much is for sure. Okay, so... Uh, hold on, though. Two people went below 400. On One person on each team, so that was... Technically a 3v3. Uh, should I count that? Because there was one on each team, therefore it was technically a 3v3. It's 300 on Bouncy Twins. In that case, one person went below 300, so that match isn't going to count. <laughs> okay, but whoever is here, uh, please leave the lobby. So... Uh, new people can join, and this will these will be the last two matches of my stream. Then we'll head on over to Jacko Gens. Okay, yeah, so that match isn't gonna count. Can I get one more multiplier, please? Just one. And for those of you who still haven't had the chance to play, now's your chance. I'm doing two more matches. Ding, dee 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 ding. There's one spot open, half if you want to join. D okay, so I need to make sure that I manually select Make Princess Diaries for the next one. Okay, let me put everyone back on the neutral. I might get the chance to join. Someone might just say you never know that. Okay, so let's see. Light 
light, light, light. Gonna put you on the spectate. Dark, 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 and put the you on the. Wait a minute. Wait, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, there we go. Your internet's being bad, and you. We'll be here for the rest of the day. Of course. Gotta love the old internet. Okay, where are the light tetras? Here we go. Ugh, it's a sprinkler cat. Gosh darn it, dude. Ah, uh, Autobomb bomb launcher is okay though. But sprinkler, screw that. It it doesn't do a thing for you. Dang, the dark tetra kits are much better. Autobomb and splashdown. I feel like light tetra is at a complete disadvantage if I do that. Yep, final match will be on Nick Prince's Diaries. You don't have the light tetras? Well, shoot. I mean, if you don't have them, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use them just because they're called light tetras and I'm on team light, so... You know. <laughs> Meet the gang! The one thing that's nice about these is the range, but... I think they're they're more inaccurate than the squelchers. And I do not know how to utilize this quadruple dodge roll properly. And the thing that's kind of annoying about Auto Bomb Launcher is that, unlike such a bomb launcher, if the same person is tagged by the same auto bombs repeatedly. It just doesn't go anywhere. These the uh, Tetra Jellies. These are the Dark Cap, Auto Bomb, and, <laughs> and Refrigerator and Split Tune 3. So apparently they're a team support weapon. Uh, why did it have to be a sprinkler? Why did it have to be a sprinkler? I do not like sprinklers. They're cool, but they suck. The only synergy uh, any kit with a sprinkler would have is just chip damage. That's it. Nothing else. Just more freaking specials. Yes, you can still maintain aim while doing this dodge roll with these deletes, but that's easier said than done because you have to readjust your aim as well, depending on which direction you're going. <laughs> you like <this>? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better with these things all of a sudden. What's my last split in stream? Uh, my last Splatoon stream will be on Friday, because I'm not going to be streaming Splatoon 3 the day of. And I'm not sure, okay, because I pre-ordered a physical copy off of Amazon, I'm not sure if it'll end up, I'll end up having a repeat of what happened with Animal Crossing New Horizons, where it's like two days late. Which, if that is the case, that's the last time I'm pre-ordering from Amazon. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Amazon delivery is, you know, really good, but if it's something involving, like, a pre-order, that's not always guaranteed, because I can imagine there's a lot of people that did, so they have to keep waiting until they get other copies in. So yeah, to, and to that regard, Amazon pre-orders probably are not, you know, uh, the most reliable. And Nintendo did offer pre-orders for their, uh, but they were only digital. So, yeah, and I don't want a digital copy, I want a physical copy. I'll never understand why people put squid beacons in their spawn. <laughs> Unless you're using sub power up for a faster super jump return, then that's understandable. Dang, that was a close game. GG's. Ooh, okay, Mocha went full. Well,. Wait, the team still won, though, despite going below 400, so that still counts. 
Okay, make Princess Diaries. Here we come. I can actually go ahead and do this now because... Krabby Patty, here I come! Just watch for spoilers? I will. Okay, light, dark, gonna have... Need someone... Okay, we're gonna have you spectate and you spectate. I'm sorry for those who I'm putting on spectate for the last match, but I'm just going down the list. And again, using the light touch ritual, please. And no bad on multipliers. How nice. And as for the score on my team so far, um, Light is winning by one point. So if Dark can take this point, um, my stream will end in a tie. So let's see. Which, I, I okay, part of me is hoping that happens because on day one, light one. On day two, dark one. And so if that means it's a tie today, that'd be kind of nice. But those are my streams specifically. On day one, on my stream, team light one. On day two, specifically for my stream, dark one. So hopefully day three, it'll actually be a tie. Let's see. It's not a battle multiplayer, but <laughs> everyone's probably going to go try hard mode because of the simple fact that it's just a one point difference for me right now. <laughs> Which I don't mind, because I think that'd be fitting. Three days, three different outcomes. But that doesn't mean I'm going to not try. I guess the only time I can really get a splash on cancel is if I accidentally cancel it. Oh, how's it going? Yeah, the range on, this, on these things are something to be considered. Oh, I just realized not everyone on my team's using light. Dying. Let me blowy uppy. <laughs> now it's time for a little wakey uppy. I got it when we get done. I'm surprised that. Wow. I don't know how I was the one to come out of that. <laughs> Jeez. Dang, this special, special builds up quickly, even without the sprinkler. So maybe they just give it the sprinkler because they couldn't think of anything else to give it. They lit a lot of bomb that good. One shot away. <laughs> I'm guessing that was the splash damage. <laughs> Give me the hyper bombs. Yeah. That's all I wanted. Jack is ready? Okay, gotcha. We're just wrapping up here, so. Almost done. Let's do it. And that does it. Will it end in a tie? Or will Team Light win this stream again? Buy a coin flip. <laughs> Team Dark won by a coin flip. <laughs> Holy shoot. It's like Nintendo's watching and they just rigged it. If that's not rigged, I don't know what is. 
<laughs> cool, how's it going? I'm sorry if I did not mention you at all earlier, but now I have. But hey, that's cool. Because that means the points for me are, it's a tie. So I'm kind of satisfied with that because three different days, three different outcomes. Why not? Very poetic. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Okay, but before I end off, let me go ahead and uh, say thank you to all who have joined me. We have got... I mean, there's a lot more people that join me, but, you know, lobby specific. Super Pug. We have Mocha. Ninja Pun. Bella. Skipper. Paul. And Aquatic. And myself. So, with that being said, I am going to send you guys right on over to uh, Jack Hogan's uh, stream momentarily. <laughs> Batman Judge Drunk. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Apparently so. Okay, so with that being said, let me get the link for you guys really quickly. Uh, Suspace sent it for me. Holy cow, my phone is overheating. What the frick? Copy link. Just the good stuff. And there we go. Okay, we're gonna hit him up with a hashtag vibrate. And I'll see you guys over on his channel momentarily. So that does it for me for this final subfest. Jacko Jackogen will be the one wrapping this event up as a whole. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you all had fun. Until next time. Love you all. Take care.